Oh, 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 I see, I see. I thought we were talking about getting the most experience per run. I know Cinder's up in those get you more. Superhero, Paladin, Monk, Druid, Alchemist, Jester. Demon Hunter, Barbarian, Dragoon. It's, it's Cyborg or Jester. Those are the, those are the most exciting too. Is there a cap for how much experience uh, gain we get from doing cinders? A man in the burning hell, says the bard. Cyborg or jester? <laughs> Problem is, I've beaten the game as the bard. And I've beaten the game as the gunslinger, of course. Of course. We don't get any unlocks for doing the chaos run, but you know what? We unlock the thing. Let's take a turn of not unlocking a thing. Let's check out a chaos run. Cyborg as a class has unique class perks. I think Cyborg will be our next unlock then. Well, let's do a little, little chaos. I want to kill chaos. We'll do one more run here and then we'll swap over to slice and dice. Do a little slice and dice. I want to hear the Slice and Dice soundtrack. Alright. Everything's random. Let's go. This class sucks. Can't move. Can't open menus. Can't click escape. I don't like this class. I, I feel like out of all of them, this is the most boring one. <laughs> Never seen that before. Like, it just it's just a guy just dancing. He's just dancing. Well, that was a speed run of the chaos class. All right, try again. Might as well hit a button while I'm waiting. And what is this? Uh, you can't see it, but now it's in like windowed mode and I have the top half. Come on. Bartle is full screen, you sick game. All right, maybe this time it doesn't randomly choose to like crash. Look, it's an EA. I know. <laughs> I'm I'm not being like this game sucks. It was a joke that the character sucks. All right, all right, all right. What we got here? We got a slow revolver, a hero cape, a plank shield. Three, two, one. Three strength, two dex, one int. Two hearts. Deception. On dash, your next weapon attack deals a guaranteed critical and lethal hit at the same time. God, the music is so good. I like this gun. Dexterity, sure. <laughs> Just show the rat my gun. Go! Bone enchanted. They nerf dash builds? Why? I 
I want to be in your bubble. Pew! Pew! Uh, I got no money, so that's not where I want to go. <laughs> Weapon, please, I beg you. Weapon. <laughs> On the tally of five attacks with a magic weapon, repeat the attack. After not having attacked for 2.5 seconds, your next attack grants you opportunity. Your critical hit chance is zero, but you gain 100% crushing hit chance. Mm. Primary attack stack range. Yeah, I'll go crushing hit. Raging chaos. <laughs> stack of rage. Now, I like the crushing hits. That way, when you get weapons that are like, this will deal four damage all the way up to 900,000 damage. And it's like, no, it does 900,000 damage. Only getting the top end rolls is sweet. I can't turn down experience. Dice. Yeah, yeah we got a force crit and lethal on our dash. Charm or armor? I would I would love a weapon. A weapon would be great. Time to feast! Psst. I'm going to feed you my children! Best part is when you dash and then uh, he moves so you miss. God damn it. Screw you! I wanted a weapon! I hate this gun. Alright, so the character... Stat-wise, it was 3-2-1, strength, dex, int. Has on dash, you get a guaranteed critical and lethal hit. And we started with... This gun, this body armor, this plank. Giggler, hello there. Is this old Gunshin? If I had to, like, describe this game, it's... It has the the variety of, like, Binding of Isaac, where you get a whole bunch of, like, oh, this interacts with this, that interacts with this, and it's very fun. There's a lot of, like, potential upper-end builds, but it has more of the leanings of Gungeon for its gameplay. But strip out any, like, looking around on a map that both those games have. It's very much like you start, you go straight. Like, it's just... You are choosing, like, left room or right room, but it's not like... It's it's just a straight line. <laughs> like, you just choose A or B as you go. It's very fun. I highly recommend. 10% increased attack speed with magic weapons. On dash, gain two stacks of haste. Evil deeds increase your alignment instead of decreasing it. The Binding of Gungeon. With its own, like, collection of stuff in there. There's so many characters to choose from. Like, I'm still unlocking characters, and we have, like... Like, maybe 20-something characters unlocked right now. Like, 24. The Hades level system. Yeah, I mean, it's a dash thing, and we do dashy things. And there's no unlock associated with chaos, so, like, we can go wherever we want.
Mr. Rossetti, you sons of bitches. You and your dirty mole family. I just, I just want a weapon. A permanent blessing. Uh, maybe that's good. Let's see. I haven't really done blessings very much. Have you been enjoying Helldivers, Giggly? Most roguelikes aren't your cup of tea, but watching them is fun. Do you like card ones? Have you seen Bellatro? Because Bellatro is crack. Let's choose one of the three permanent blessings. All right. 10% increased companion damage, plus 10 equip load capacity, 15% increased mana regeneration. So we're going for like dashy effects. None of these are particularly synergistic for it, but faster mana regeneration is great if we get a mana draining weapon. But maybe we're gonna find some nice equipment and we want a higher equip loot. I don't know. Coin toss. Shame they're temporary. It said permanent! Mana regeneration. Weapons! Oh, thank god. It's a triangle. Two attacks per second. 15% reduced attack speed, armor break. The precise mini B. Fuck you, mini B. I spent so long upgrading you that other time into the maxi B. But it's precise and it's probably 230 to 440. 77. It's really, we just need one number, the top number. That's all we do. 168, and it's doing four attacks per second. 440, two attacks per second. So, like, 880 functionally per second. Yeah, the triangle's gonna make dumb noises. Yeah, but does it make cool music? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. What was that noise? <gasps> Sweep well clean. never hurt nobody. So we want dex. Like, we want to get more dex experience so we get more options that are dex related. Because that's where we're going to find a lot of the dash effect stuff on the skills, or whatever they're called, attributes. Looks like you dug your way into trouble. Ouchie, ouchie, you twerp! <laughs> Curse doesn't affect your damage resolute to and nor does Lucky, huh?
What's that? On dash. Two stacks of haste. I mean, honestly, I'd rather have on dash bleed some motherfuckers. Show them what's what. Dash shoes. Night boots. So we can go anywhere we want. We don't need to worry about buying specific things. Quick Thorn Chakras. Increase attack speed two per second. Poison damage and every other attack inflicts toxic. Got some strength going on. Maybe get maybe get something good. <laughs> Giant hammer, medium range. It's a little lower than this. Hey, uncommon weapons. The Chilling Reinforced Club plus three, or the Slow Twin Shot Crossbow. Don't like short range, especially if we're going to be dashing. Just grab you and hold on to you for now. Dex! Oh, but permanent blessing! I have really not been doing a lot of blessings. You know, as much as I want decks, there'll be more decks, but there might not be more blessings. Sorry, Mr. Ninja Turtle. Critical hit chance, plus one good, 2.5% increased attack speed. Bing bing. Twenty golds. Get more golds. It's a normal shot. Though. Wait, this is a curse gold shot? Or to just reduce my reward because it, uh, crocked the curse negative. Dodge a little late in there. Going to sit here and watch you while I work in some schoolwork, if that's cool with you, my lord. You may. I deign it so. You may watch me. Just don't touch yourself while doing so. I don't know. The illegal helix bow. Very far range. 50% critical hit chance. Inflicts DNA alteration. It's a stackable status effect that consumes all stacks of deal. Two deal 100% accumulate damage as wound damage upon reaching two stacks. All right, I'll allow you to touch yourself, too. Disintegration Scepter. The Illegal Double-Edged Throwing Knives. Dungeon! 100 years dungeon! I mean, I kind of like that Illegal Hex Bow. What's this lady do? Hey kid, wanna buy a cigarette? 
triggers your on damage taking effects. Totally get you. I only smoke for the social aspects. Anyways, take it easy, kid. <laughs> the precise coral flail. A glory pop. And permanent increased maximum tipsiness. Yeah, you know what? I'll take it. 269 twice a turn. Movie nights are the only times you drink. Picking up a mana star, meteors drop from the sky. Booze buffs are permanent. Striking and body damage inflict instability. Trigger a shockwave. I think I'll take Boozer and just start getting. Consider. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forget the dude in the middle is a, is a pawn. I always forget about that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, let's just drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Make the tavern more exciting. Pair of gloves. I can smell your fear, kiki kiki. Fresh meat so hard to come by. Oh, you got some bites, you kiki kiki. Weed, weed, weed. The witch doctor gloves. I went to the witch doctor, and the witch doctor said, These gloves will stack poison to a max of ten. Tally five primary attacks, shoot two dart projectiles. Hmm. I mean, I got three of them. Legendary. Demolition gloves for explosions on the tally five primary bow or crossbow attacks. Repeat. We had this last time. Or the mystical belt. 100% increased stats granted by charms. Huh. We don't have any charms at the moment. But that just doubles whatever we get out of them. That could be nice. What's my current accessory, though? 50% lucky hit chance. You can also re-roll again. But this is legendary. Legendary. We'll have four things down here sooner or later. I mean, we're about to buy some. There is almost always charms in these places. Can't turn down some legendation legendations. Hold on now. This is two-handed. This is two-handed. But this slot's available when you're using it. Bows disable any non quiver. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I got zero keys, so it's either evil or good. <clears throat> well, we did evil before. Let's do good this time. No, wait, we did, we did lawful before. So either or is fine. Ah, I'm already closer to the good. 10% increased attack speed. 20% increased attack speed for us. Plus 50 equip load. Would that actually give us a hundred equip load? Get out of my way! A zombie companion. Damn it. Hmm? 
135 You're good with a zombie? I got two zombies. They're and they're good zombies. They're angelic zombies. These were actually saints in their last life. When they died, they were uh, good Samaritans. <gasps> Dexterity! Yay! Oh yeah, I forgot to finish saying what I was thinking out loud. So yes, it does work for the equip load. <laughs> I was just like, all right, moving on. Don't need to think out loud. People can read my mind. Probably. Zombies eating ghosts. Now I've seen everything. A permanent curse blessing. Mimic. I'll never want for bombs again. Yeah, zombies, get the other zombies. Soul shop, just some golds. Tornado chain. There we go. Blacksmith or a key? Oh, wait. Repair powder. I don't have any armor, so like... Not terribly useful, but I got I got garbage items I could throw on the floor that won't sell for more than three or four anyway. Uh, get a key. Be nice to unlock something. Which zombies are my zombies? We dead, Diego. Ah, uh, an event could be anything. Want to play a game? You can win some ethereal dice. Oh, perfect. Let's play. <clears throat> Keep track of the ball. You win. Oh, you should play again! was like half a frame which means I think this is not quite like this is what it would be if there wasn't for that weird frame in there okay good I don't always try to play with that one we should play again I don't feel like playing anymore right now you've cleaned me out I thought he was gonna cheat me Money ethereal? I got 16 ethereal dice now. Next time we're offered a trait. I think we could dig for whatever we really want. There's one for like, make your on dash effects just proc every... Every once in a while, right? Magic weapon, pair of gloves. Gloves, please. Hill disturbs my slumber. 
You will pay for this with your life. Not gonna lie, best event. I mean, that just pays out like a million ethereal dice. No downside to that one. I'm a mortal! A creature of the night! You cannot defeat me! I guess you can defeat me. Ah, oh, hell. That sucked. Puppeteer's gloves. A winter cloak. 20% critical hit damage. 30% increased damage dealt to bosses, but 30% reduced damage to non-bosses. The fletching hat. 20% increased bow and crossbow damage. Bows and crossbows trigger a flurry of three additional arrows that deal 287 to 459 thrusting damage. I mean, we could try and go for the fletching set. At the same time, though... I got dice. Somebody's like, this one? What about this one, my lord? I like this one. The zombie likes this one. Plus one maximum capacity. <laughs> no wonder you like that one! Biased! Shut up! Bad zombie! 30% increased damage with crushing hits. We only do crushing hits. What about this one, my lord? Don't strike me! I'll hide behind the health bar! I'm only trying to help. Additional dexterity pickup if you beat a boss without taking damage. I mean, that's a good way to farm more dex. 25% increased effective debuff status effects. I mean... It seems like what we've got going on is, is the run is about dashing and about doing crushing hits. And this is just straight up like, oh, you're doing crushing hits? When they happen, they're much better. Seems like a good, a, a good call here. Yes, me lord. An excellent choice. Oh, most living of living people. Most magnanimous of humans. Thank you, to What's that noise? Was it just letting me know this is cursed? It was a scary sound. I got 16 bobs, I want more money. Rare weapon. The bazooka. Vorpal blade. Super sun, a crits. I mean, explosion damage is usually pretty nice for crushing because it's a... Uh, it's a pretty wide range. Thousand damage per second, bazooka. Yeah, I mean, it's better than my triangle, right? Could re roll, but I'll save those re rolls for like legendary stuff. Inventory full. Garbage. <gasps> Dex. Oh, 
Oh, thank God, a pawn shop. Six whole gold. Thanks, bud. Pretty nice. Yeah, I'll say. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw knives through your head like that, friend. Blood altar. Three equipment types. Random helmet, random accessory, random gloves. We got some nice gloves. Got a pretty nice accessory. Don't have a helmet yet. Twenty percent critical hit chance to weapons at upgrade level four or higher. Not uh not amazing. Uh, I've seen worse, I suppose. Got the money. Frost Spear. Cold damage. Increases repeat damage. It is a helmet. It makes more sense than my current uh, critical hit chance with weapons of four or higher. Mana Potion. We don't have a lot of repeat damage at the moment, but like there might be more later. Walked right into that. Oh god! Half your strength also counts towards dexterity damage scaling from ranged weapons. Critical hit, or a ruthless hit, gain berserk. Explosion damage inflicts burn, and burn damage de dealt additionally is based on explosion infliction damage. We do have some explosion shit going on right now. But, reroll. Infusion buff effects. Oh my god, that's so good though. Don't we also currently have uh, booze as permanent? We could have booze effects permanent and infusion effects are permanent. I need to drink and infuse everything. Yeah, I'll take it. I, I, I look very funny right now. It doesn't look like bat wings. It kind of looks like uh, I got just maybe chin length, very lush hair on the sides, but completely bald on top. That's a look I strive for. I'm going to go for that in my, later in life. Is this a joke? You dare to challenge me, the champion? Be prepared to be trampled. You're tougher than you look! It's time to end this farce! Whoops. This weapon is very, very slow. I don't, don't think I like it. Like the boom booms, don't like the slow slows. Want something faster. Increases per damage, increases per curse on you, 20 per, oh, just straight up 20 decks if we're wearing the artisan gloves. That's a lot of decks. I don't know if I could say no to that. 
just 20 more decks. It's so much more attack speed. Attack speed's also equal to damage in the end. Hey, buddy. Boop a doop a doo. One or two random trait tones. Gold. Rare weapon indeed, stranger. The Maelstrom, the crappy Grandmaster Shuriken, the Steady Cross Glaive. Use one dice, but just the one. The Occult Kazoo. The Money Gob. This weapon gains 1% more attack speed per gold you currently have. Up to 500%. The Bombardment Tome. A Mortar Totem that deals 230 to 446 explosive damage with its primary attack. Interesting. Kind of curious about seeing... Three total. I gotta find some infusions. It's the other pearl! That's pretty neat. If it could stay around while I'm using a different weapon, I would be way more inclined to stick with that. <gasps> oh my god, it's the Star Cannon. This is from Terraria. Fencing mask, demolition boots. On dropping a bomb gains swiftness. Two sets. 100% crushing hit chance with explosion then. We already have 100% crushing hit chance. The Steady Arcane Shuriken. Mana drain is low, pretty fast, very far, slashing damage. Armor of Thorns, Spiky Ball. Hmm? I Dark Souls armor. I need some Alchema Halls. I'd like one beer, please. Thank you. I would also like... I'll write inventory. Like some wine, please. And of course, some champagne. Twenty percent increase companion damage per stack. Yeah, sure. Here, top me off, please. Do I have a key? I'm going downstairs. Sell some stuff. Boop, boop, boop. My accessory right now, 100% increased stats from charms, so... The pearl ring, just money. 
Bombardment Tome is neat, but... Now, the 20 decks is probably better than the 30% crushing damage, but it is nice. Yeah, sure, you know what? Just so I have more money. Illegal Gun Parts, the Snow Launcher, the Disintegrator. Maximum sex disintegration at once. 27 gold. That seems pretty nice. Don't have any souls to trade. Jellyfishing nets. Ooh. Captain Bells! On dash, taunt the nearest enemy. Take more damage. Fifty gold. What from button? DNA alteration. Accumulate damage is wound damage upon reaching two stacks, or just straight up disintegrate. I think I can get behind that. 1700 damage. One attack per second. It's just so slow. I like the AoE on it, but like, goddamn. And now I can buy illegal gun parts. I'm happy with that. Alright. Oh, I don't have any money for the blacks, man. Oh, well. I'm just like looking up there. I'm like, neat. Candy. Dash through him. Offhand or companion. Piece of candy, you say? I have to open the candy. Got some Pocky here. Crunchy strawberry. Oh, baby. The good kind of, good kind of Pocky. That's the stuff. I like my gloves. I like my boots. I feel like a hat might be the thing I want to change first. Or armor. Body armor. the seas i control the tides i control the storms i control the farts face my wrath pathetic little human you're nothing but a small fish in a big pond well, at least i'm alive loser Two set items and a non-set item. All damage from your bow and crossbow attacks are considered to be at close range. Fifty percent chance for ranged attacks to repeat.
100% increased repeat damage. Eh, I got him. Got the dice, use the dice. That's what Grandpa Gamble and Pete always used to say. You got the dice, use the dice. I did enjoy that one run when we were doing all dragon damage. Each point dexterity additionally grants 1.5 chance to repeat attacks. 40, 45% total. I don't know, I like this uh, double up on your stuff down here. I wanna, don't want to replace it, but 45% chance. And then we also just get 100% increased repeat damage. That's actually really good synergy, huh? If I take this off, I still have 110 equip load. Gotta repeat! Like, if I take this, 45% chance to repeat. Thanks to these gloves here, and then this hat, our repeat damage goes up. Like, would I rather have the Mystic Belts, or just more repeat damage? I feel like I want the repeats. I don't have to sell this right away. Like, if I get better things down here, I can change things up. Grab that. Oh, it's... It's a good shot. Revived once before. Makes the fox sounds. Gain some suppression. See, no, no statty things here, so I don't think I get two suppression if I have the belt on. Yeah, good shark, good shark. Tip tap, tip tap, tip tap. Cursed. No, I want gold. Had trouble seeing what was going on with all those confetti cans. Uh, locked chest with a weapon. I don't have a key. I don't really care where we go. Like, this character doesn't have an unlock associated with it, so we can go wherever we want. I think at the moment, I'm good. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Ooh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. One more good, and we can go, go to heaven. Just like all good dogs. Just let him shoot me. Bursting with rich rewards. Now I have keys. Oh my goodness. The Abyss Cloak. Plus three to curse, grants corruption or inflicts corruption. Debuffs enemies take dark damage from you and your companions. Knight armor, 10% increased damage per maximum armor point you have. The head hunter's nimbus scroll. And the partisan plus three. Followed by a pawn shop where I could just sell it all for max loot. But, there's also booze. Booze effects are permanent, and so are infusions. Right now we got beer, wine, and champagne. Unfortunately, unless we find cheese, that's it for us. Nimbus. 
crushing. 30% increased damage dealt to bosses. Primary attack deals 976 lightning damage and inflicts a stack of shock. Six attacks per second. Oh, that's a number. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? I've never seen this one before. That is amazing. Well, I'm sorry, Legal Bow. You, you've been replaced. Right, that's the boss killer right there, because we got a 30% increase on the bosses, too. All right. Let's go sell a bunch of this other stuff. Yeah, that's amazing. Feels bad to sell it. Like, maybe it'll come up later. Ah, uh, we'll hold on to it. <laughs> 119, I'm not, like, hurting for cash. A door shield. Offhand. Wow, that really... Really heavy. Two armor with block. With our other thing, we could hold on to this. Give stamina. What's my accessory doing for me right now? I was playing Bellatro. Tell me. Tell me what year is it? 2027. Marin, you've been playing Bellatro for several years. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not replacing my accessory. Magical bow. God awful maracas. Chrono shift. There's so many buffs and debuffs in this game. Wow, it's already at plus three. But illegal gun parts, I thought this is allowed to go up the higher. Was I supposed to save the illegal gun parts? Well, good day to you, sir. Go, get him, get him, get him! I am king of the mountain! I am fire! I am death! There's a perk to double lightning damage that would be sick to see. Your kind should bow before my greatness. I'm done with your insolence! Just stand still, damn it!
When we get them when they're talking, it's great. 10% increased movement speed per stack of DFCness. Plus 3 dexterity. Adds block, grants immunity to push and pull effects. That will put me over, but a couple of points of strength will fix that right up. Are the bosses completely random? Not completely random, but like what you run into on each floor, there's like two or three bosses per floor. And when I say per floor, I don't mean necessarily floor seven. Like there's multiple tile sets per the floors, so like there's two or three bosses for each version of floor seven, if that makes sense. I don't quite understand how it works myself, but like there is World 1, World 2, and I've seen all the bosses for, like, Floor 7, World 2. That kind of stuff. Uh, Abe Clancy could explain it better, probably. Mr. Clancy, if you please. Gloom effect. There's theme levels. The forest in Floor 1 had you fighting the tree. Yeah, yeah. And, like, there's a couple of different bosses for each world and floor, right? Like the library, you could run into the giant stack of books, the book golem, or you could run into the owl. Like the library has those two bosses that I could pull off the top of my head. Increase attack speed and movement speed while in mana burnout. Fuses with the dawn talisman. I mean, I'm a little curious about the dawn talisman fusion element here. I'm out of golden dice, so like I'm, I'm taking this because uh, I'm not taking the other ones. That's all there is to it. Whoop, whoop. Present. What's the theme of this one? Where am I? I don't know what floor. What world am I in? <laughs> Strength. Blup, 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 blup. It's gonna be one of those bosses. You know the ones. Crushing hits grant you five bone splinters. Farming attacks consume one splinter to trigger a bone spear. I mean, that synergizes very well. Every hit's gonna do it. Like, we always have crushing hits. We always have five bone splinters. Every primary attack will be making a bone spear. I can't- I can't turn that down. Hello? Boop, 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 boop. Soul shop, more golds. <laughs> I don't I don't really need any gold right now. By virtue of not needing golds. Common offhand. Am I, oh yeah, I got that thing. Primary attack damage. 
The dirndl. Leather hose. Maiden dress. Don't have any dice for that. I mean, I kind of want to just merge these talismans. <gasps> Resin. Oh, but alcohol. All kinds of stuff could also happen here. Alright, step one. Step two, what booze you selling? Right, we can only be so tipsy. Whoops, sorry everybody. In this room. Yeah, my tipsy's maxed out, actually. Wine, champagne. We're times two on wine. I, I want to replace the champagne, I suppose. We gotta find some cheese. I need cheese. <gasps> oh my god, Santa Claus, you marvel! Ten percent increased attack speed, plus one tips in his per stack. Twenty damage and adds one tipsness. I guess I mean beer is probably the better one. But maybe one Wixy? Wh whisk whisk me? Throw it in there. Did I manage to replace what I wanted to replace? One beer, one wine, one whiskey, one champagne. God damn it. I don't know how to choose which one replaces in my, my stomach. Can you even do that? Reroll it. Just buy more beer. Buy all of our beer playsets and toys. Three stacks of beer, one stack of whiskey. That's exactly what I wanted. Just a little attack speed and a bunch more damage. Got a mimic obsidian chest or two bombs. I have 13 bombs. I have so many bombs. Don't need bombs. Rocket goblins. 10 primary attacks, shoot 3 seeking missiles that will do 5,763 explosive damage. Enigma armor. Grants plus 2 to weapon upgrade level, grants 25% increased magic finds. And has armor. I mean... Uh, my plus 20 dex, though. We're at 33 dex. I think I've gotten something to level 7, but I'm not sure. This is at plus 5 right now. We'll just need super illegal gun parts. Yeah, we can do it, huh? We gotta find super illegal gun parts. Or just, no, I got the super one from underground. I need one more. I just need the other illegal gun parts. That's what I need. Magic weapon. Epic. Whom's disciple do we have here? May the scriptures guide thee or lead thee to oblivion. Your resilience forces me to drastic measures. I shall merge the divine with the infernal. Your end is nigh. He's off screen right now, right? Like, I can't. Can't hurt him if I want to. My god, I hate bosses like this.
Fuck you! <laughs> Photon barrier. Flukes robe. Grants 10% increased damage depending on how evil you are. Yeah, no rerolls, unfortunately. I mean, Enigma Arm is pretty fun. Don't want to replace that, so no. Oh, this is offhand. Offhand. I guess I'll just take this then. So I couldn't get this to plus seven if I wanted to, because it's already maxed out. Or wait, can I? All right, smithing stone. You oh. offer me nothing at the moment. I'm very tempted for the rocket gauntlets. I'm just worried about what that loss of 20 decks would do to me. There are ways to get more levels on weapons. I know how to do guns. I don't know how to get, like, other stuff higher. Ooh. Tried to sneak up on me. Boo! Oh, I can't have any more boos. I need, uh, infusions. Soul hearts, yeah, I'm into that. Epic weapons. Michelangelo bow. I've already had this. It was good. The shocking fractal glaive. All stationary, it does extra damage. Axe of Despair. No scaling on the Axe of Despair, huh? It is a pretty nice one. Especially with our all crushing attacks. Always gonna get the high roll, so high roll on the lightning is really nice. Something's going on the floor. I don't know if it's better than my Disintegrator, though. It's probably better than my Disintegrator. Three attacks per second. This is six attacks per second. The damage ceiling on this, a bit higher. Just drop the armor thors on the floor. <laughs> Am I attacking fast enough? Oh, come on, never do oh, it's always stats or resin, man. But I want I want the stats. I wanna I wanna get another skill. But resin <laughs> must must take resin. Oh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. No, I want the dex. Pawn shop. This is the right time for a pawn shop, I think. Sorry, Disintegrator, you were great. Legendary accessory. We're getting a lot of repeat attacks. 52.5%. I'll lose so much if I take that off. It's like, I can't take this off while I'm wearing this. Even the hat kind of plays into it. So as much as I love... the Rocky Goblets... which are great... they're probably not what we want right now. Lantern can go. Do -do -do -do. 
it'll work when I have this equipped, which means it'll work for the boss room. All right. I don't have to sell the rocket gloves just yet. If I find the Dawn Talisman, I'm curious to see what happens when we merge. I might just hold on to that for that sake. This is already a plus three, plus five. That means there's room, room for this one to grow. My man. That's some cursed broccoli right there. I mean, I'm taking, I'm taking the cursed broccoli. What the stats? Mimic? Can it give me a weapon? Could it possibly compete with what I got here? I mean, good lord. Got two different legendary weapons. You couldn't compete. Take the gold. I um, mean, yeah, more legendaries. Periodically triggers a chain lightning. An accessory. <clears throat> Luck and curse are equal to the greater of the two values. A wedding dress. 5% critical hit chance. That's a lot of lightning. What are my current boots? I got my, my dashy knife boots. 5,000 with bleed. Periodically. Every two units. Chains between two enemies. I guess that's just for walking around. I mean, they're legendary. Let's take them. I like my knives, but... Why not? Why not? After all... Oh my god. That's gonna be... Horrible <laughs> to listen to. Grants an Arc Angel Companion. Slashing damage, grants radiant damage. Armor while good. Alright, got legendary boots, legendary armor. I need legendary gloves, two legendary weapons. Periodical effects go faster. <laughs> These are my walking around boots. <laughs> resin! Oh, but I can level up. Resin, though. Oh, but level up. Resin. Resin. I thought they were all dead. It's a street. Oh my god, I hate the sounds. <laughs> Lower my personal volume. Explosion damage from you inflicts instability. On dash, mark the nearest enemy with a set X mark. Testudo. Reduce global tally threshold requirements by one. Additionally, reduce global tally requirements further per maximum point of block you have. 
feel like uh, this might be my first time in a little while where I'm like, yeah, you know what, a reroll. Like a dashy thing is nice. Tally thresholds. Do we have a lot of tally stuff? Yeah, it's not a very good dashy thing. It's just dashy, like getting stuff that's in there. Reroll. On completing a combat encounter room without taking damage, can stack morale if you've been drained of mana in the past four seconds. Periodically. Fuck you. Periodically trigger your on bomb effects and throw three grenades that explode. <clears throat> Necrotic and poison damage from you and your companions inflict fragility. I mean, that's nice and all, but. Range attacks gain 100% crushing hit chance at close range. I already have 100% crushing hit. When you inflict bleed, you also inflict a second poison. <laughs> cool, I didn't want that one. On non triggered lucky hits, trigger a blessed hammer. 25. Uh, one in four attacks. We'll get a Radiant Hammer. After not attacking. Don't take any away from me. Companions grant no stats. Anytime you trigger a damaging lightning effect, the effect is triggered an additional time. All right. I mean, the shoes we're wearing. We just get extra lightning now. I might have to mute sound effects in the fucking game, but like, that's pretty on on point. And Nimbus Scroll as well for boss fights, yeah. So horrible. TV noise volume. Is there like a CRT, like low frequency hum they've added to the game? Just, just mute that. Uh, master music sound. Let's just drop that down by 10, just for a little while. Just, just take the edge off. Satisfied? Bastard! I hate your rotating things. Minus one to strength, plus one to dex. Just broccoli, baby! God, there's a lot of bone spears coming out of me. Non melee weapons. Melee weapons go up to four. It's cursed. Mana potion. Fallen star. Wrath potion. Good day to you. I mean, I want stats, but. Given some of our stuff here, I go into mana burn pretty fast. Having another one will barely change that. Like, it's, it's, it'll improve it by 33%, which I suppose is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, fine. Yeah, all right. 
present though. Hey buddy. Accessory melee weapon. Doesn't matter. Hey, bud. In the end, all mortals bow to death. You're no exception, dude, to this rule. You've come very far. Count me impressed. But nonetheless, your time has come. You need to die, Scoob. Enough. I'll do stuff that I don't care about. I'll just take a hunter cat. Pure good. Looks like we're going to heaven. Just like dogs do. All dogs go there. Ain't I mean, nothing that gives me stats, so yeah. Highest attribute. Yeah, more decks. Ah, yeah. Ten percent Korea. Oh, that was dead. Oh yeah, here we go! All right, last thing. Step of the wind on dash, gain full stacks of tailwind, elemental balance. With our current weapon, that's not too bad, but... 100% increased stat granted by mana to mana draining weapons. 100% increased mana regeneration. I mean, this... Could be nice just so we go on mana burn too fast, but I feel like there's something else out there. Something better. Something else. During combat, periodically increment all your active tallies by one. Plus 10 power per companion. On tally of 10 melee. No, we don't have any melee. 100% increased stats from dexterity. Gain none from strength or intelligence. On non-triggered lucky hits. 5% more attack speed per dexterity scaling tier. 30%. If you've drained mana in the past four seconds, each point of mana additionally grants more companion damage. Mark the lowest health enemy. On a lucky hit, increment all your active tallies. Five melee attacks. Don't care about melee. Ten damaging triggers. Gain ten stacks of trigger mania. Trigger mania. Ten percent increased attack speed. On draining an accumulated amount of one mana, trigger a volley of magical bolts. I mean, this is going to go off a lot, but I feel like Trigger Mania is pretty fun. Ten damaging triggers. Bone Spear and Loot Lighting are triggers. Yeah, yeah, like, we have so much Bone Spears and Lightning going off that this is just guaranteed to pretty much go off. All the time. Stacks last one second, up to ten stacks. So we could double our attack speeds if we get the full stackage. 
And given how many like things are going off, I feel like this is always going off. This is pretty good. Feeds itself. That was our last one. Booze lock chest. I'll blow it up with a bomb. Soul Shop Ambrosia. Potion Lucky Hit Chance. I walked into his butt beam. Resin! You are real! One final rest. Range weapon pair boots. You've come a long way, Marto. Allow me a moment's introduction. I am Bahamut, a celestial guardian, sentinel of the high heavens, and arbiter of purity. I'm surprised a mortal like you made it this far. Only those of untainted heart may ascend beyond. Your determination is impressive, but I can't let you proceed. It is my sacred duty to stop you. My decree is absolute. Have you ever wondered about your true destiny? Don't question it any longer. I could see it. Right as the stars. You're destined to die here, you bastard. Now. The Trash Relic Crossbow, the Happy Railgun, the Pneumatic Crossbows, Inventory Full. Hut, 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 hut. Ding, ding! Worthy! Ooh, ooh. I'll take a heart. Ambrosia, critical hit multiplier. Hmm. Ambrosia. Thank you. It was down there somewhere. Resin. I do like the biblically accurate angels. Just gotta blow this up. One soul. I don't think the soul shop's where we're going.
25% increased stats granted by companions, one second to burn duration, inflict one stack of poison. Uh, grants Timson increased damage dealt to bosses. Yeah, sure. Just walk right through that one. Attack speed. Overcome one final obstacle. It seems you've bested my loyal guardian, Bahamut. Standing before me, it's clear your heart is pure. Yet you keep waging forward on your path of destruction. Your unending ambitions are evident as ever. You keep defying the tapestry of fate again and again, even as far as challenging the very heavens themselves. Tell me, mortal, are you prepared to face your ultimate trial? Justice shall prevail. Exhilarating! I sense the profound goodness within your heart. It empowers you beyond mortal strength. Your fight with radiant determination. For your final gift, mortal, I shall stop holding back. What was it, overlapping with text or something? Why didn't it go off? Oh, there's like waves of damage coming out. I didn't notice the waves of damage coming out of her. I was just looking at the fucking rainbows. She had like two hit points left. Oh, we don't unlock anything by beating her anyway, so I don't even care. I don't even care. The rainbows, man. The rainbows were so pretty. <laughs> A boo boo, a a boo boo, a boo boo, a boo boo, a boo boo. Oh no, that was a fun, that was a good run. Almost there, almost. All right, I gotta pee. The question I leave with you guys: Do we want to end the night with? Bellatro? Or do you want to end the night with Slice and Dice? Kind of leaning Bellatro and do Slice and Dice, like, open on Wednesday with Slice and Dice. But I can go either way, so uh, let me know what you want. I'll BRB in the meantime for the reasons of peeing and refilling my water bottle. <laughs>